हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रितेश फ्रॉम डांसिंग विथ डेटा क्योंकि डेटा ही दाता है सो दिस इज आवर क्लास टू ऑफ टैब्लो टू पावर बी आई सीरीज एंड वट आई फॉर यू टुडे सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ टैब्लो वर्सेस पावर बी आई इन टर्म्स ऑफ डायमेंशन मेजर एंड स्टार स्कीमा बिफोर वी मूव हैड दिस सीरीज एम्स एट स्मूथ ट्रांजेशन फ्राम टैब्लो टू पावर बी आई और वाइस वर्सा All the content being presented will be shared at YouTube description or LinkedIn description. You will even get the workbook or Power BI files as well. So everything is available, and let me remind you that last time we talked about relationship, right? Relationship in Tableau versus relationship in Power BI. So if you are coming here for the first time I would recommend you to go back to the series and watch the class 1 video first. So a quick recap in the last class we said relationship between the tables orders returns and users. This is Tableau and this is Power BI. Same data source for both the analytics tool. In the class when we created a stacked bar chart so basically we related return and the order tables so that at the same time we should able to analyze the re returned sales and the sales so we were able to create that both in tableau and power bi and also we match the number for example return number you can see 104k around 104k over there same goes over here as well so now move on now we have said the relationship and as usual we'll start with tableau so we are good with the relationship and uh, you can see on the left hand side you can see the tables so how it looks in uh, tableau why tableau is more po popular with dimensions and measures whereas power bi is more popular when uh, the concept of the star schema the fact table and the dimension tables are more prevalent in power bi so let me tell you one thing when, when it comes to tableau relationship uh, comes Uh, much later after 2020.3 before that it was like physical uh, joints between the table and we had blending as well even if you see the data source page over here and compare the same with the data model over there you will see it 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 looks more like a star schema that like whereas there you can see the plain relationship between the tables now let's go back to the sheet and see so once you have connected to the data source once you have started the relationship on the left hand side you can see the tables that you have and if i expand one of the tables over there that is the orders table and you can see all the fields are divided into dimension and measures there is a thin line in between that would divide the dimension and measures so let us go to the official um, tableau help block and we'll uh, describe it further this official block will be there at the youtube description or the linkedin description but if you can see over there they talk more about dimensions and measure blue and green pill over there so dimension contain qualitative values measure contains numeric or quantitative values you can also say dimension as descriptive for example if i just go back to your tableau and if i just say view data so you can see even for a single record over there uh city it describe about the location of your order the customer of your order so it's describing something about your record at the same time there are uh, fields over there that would measure something about your record for example profit sales so forth and so on so that's why you say dimension as a uh, qualitative and measures as quantitative which will contain numeric digit so by default dimensions are discrete and measures are continuous these are the same mathematical concept a discrete and continuous generally continuous is like a continuous line and uh, within those two points there will be infinite points right whereas when you talk about discrete there will be finite number of points so if i go down they are talking about the blue versus green field same thing blue is a discrete and uh, measures are continuous by default so if you just go over there you can see that these are all green and these are all continuous but that does not mean that uh, it will remain like that all the way for example this order date can be continuous as well let me show you so if i just open this thing and if i say order date 
and at the same time i'm i'm analyzing say profit not in the form of label but over there so there is an option over there that with the help of which i can convert that to continuous so see the difference is it will act like a continuous line over there right i can go down to quarter and month now you can see this is a green pill over there so what i'm shown i have shown you an an example where dimension can be continuous as, as well so here you can see the possible combination that you can find in tableau you can have discrete dimension yes we have you can have continuous dimension as well as you can see right now in front of you this is a dimension but continuous uh you can have discrete measure as well and you can have continuous measure so if i turn that to discrete so this is an example where we maybe not making much sense over there but that that can turn you can turn this to discrete at any point of time if, if needed where you will get the header and the values over there maybe i will change it to make it more sense maybe month date over there and maybe why not uh, we can even go ahead and you know change that to discrete as well at the same time and put it on the left hand side of some of profit so for every month and year combination you can see the profit with the header so these are the possible combination now let us move on the left hand side and we can see there are three tables over there so if you closely observe that for city you have global for customer id you have hash that means number customer name abc is type of type of string so basically if you see it it will take all the numbers below this line as measure and above this line all the qualitative fields over there except say customer id over there and postal co code so tableau has got the interestingly tableau has got the capability to detect some of the fields for example postal code if it is something called postal code automatically you will see the globe icon over there if it is something space id or something space number again it will identify that that is a qualitative field so that's why you see customer id above this line you know this is a default nature of tableau and this is not documented everywhere by the way information exclusive by ritesh remember that postal code also is a number but since tableau has already detected that as a as a geographical field i have got the flexibility now i just go and double click on that and okay there is some problem with the location because uh, uh within a minute i can just because it's united states not india and that's why okay so basically i am in a position to see the map now that's it also since uh, it has already identified customer id as a dimension over there so it will not aggregate the number right and now i'm in a position to analyze profit against my customer id over there so i'm good with that so i get the customer id with the lowest profit or if i just reverse it i get the customer id 3397 so just remember this number so that we can check that in power bi as well 3397 now this is the time to turn over to power bi and analyze the values and the different fields over there as well so tableau talking about dimensions and measure as already discussed what about power bi so power bi talks more about packed table and dimension table not dimension and measures within a table but you create a separate fact table and a dimension table a fact table is a table that keeps numeric data that might be aggregated in the reporting visualization and the dimension table is a table that keeps descriptive information that can slice and dice the data of the fact table so it sounds very similar let us try to explain it more before we jump over to the over to the power bi interface power bi highly recommend the star schema overview over there right star schema is a mature modeling approach wisely adopted by relational so let me just expand it so that you can see uh, again the same thing dimension tables so but yeah here we are talking about tables right not dimension within a table but we are saying that uh, get a proper dedicated table for dimension so like entities can include product people places and concept including time itself now the fact table is store observation or event that can be sales orders stock balances exchange rate 
uh, temperature etc but here a fact table will contain dimension key columns as well you know so you have all the fact means all the measures over there along with that you need that dimension key as well then only you are going to relate with uh, the other dimension table over there right so this is your star schema here you have the fact table along with the measures and the key values over there dimension keys and this is surrounded by different dimension tables over there this way we are encouraging normalization right uh, which means avoiding duplication of data for example if you can see this is the product key column so you can see the repetition over there right so instead of having this repetition again and again for example 594 or say 243 same thing right so instead of that have a separate table for a product and align that with the fact key with the product key over there right that would be a better approach to have so star schema design is highly relevant to power bi models right so when you have dimension table that would highly support filtering and grouping and when you have the fact table that would support the summarization another key point just you should remember that one side is always a dimension type so dimension is one fact many one to many that would remain same probably we'll talk more about the additional concept when we will reach the subsequent uh, classes but now let us move over to power bi and see how it looks we have the data type icons over there you have postal code something well will it uh, recognize that as a geographic field over there so forth and so on also one thing that you will notice that when you are at uh, this model it it shows you that uh, means you you it gives you that feeling of star schema that you that you won't have with the relationship anyways going back to the visuals over there so this was class 1 we go to class 2 and in the class 2 we are talking about the so first of all analyze the tables over there on the right hand side there you are on the left hand side here you are on the right hand side so there is not you know not many icons that you had with a tableau it will just show you sigma for the fields it thinks that it should aggregate like all the numbers over there so it won't identify like in tableau tableau identified that customer id was um, um, qualitative but here you have sigma and also uh, if you see postal code here also you have sigma that means if i uh, pick a customer id it will aggregate to the count of customer id that won't help much maybe i can, maybe I can do it from scratch so what i mean to say if i click on customer id it would aggregate as the count right that won't help me much because i wanted to have individual customer id and uh, profit against the same so this is not helping me much this is not what i was looking for so i need to turn this measure to uh, say dimension uh, if you were in tableau then you can right click and you can turn any measure to dimension like this but when you are at power bi what you have to do is you have to go there and there is something called summarization this sigma i need to get rid get rid of this sigma right so i don't want any summarization that's it okay so now if i just go to customer id so you can see this is what i was looking for maybe expand this a little bit so that you can see right and after that if i want to analyze the profit in parallel that's what i was looking for if i just sort that in the descending order 3397 and i wanted you to remember that number did you remember 3397 so now i am in a position to analyze profit against my customer id so this is a little exercise that i need to do over here but that's easy so moving from top to down you can see you don't have any icon for city customer id uh, and uh, and for measures you have sigma for order date you have this date icon so it's it's quite simple you don't have that sort of variety over here uh postal code again i need to unsummarize this one because if i uh, select this one again this is giving me the count so again another exercise so i need to go over there and uh, go to uh, summarization and after that i said don't summarize i can just remove 
the count over there and uh, now if i just check this one so let me turn this to map okay i can see the map okay so maybe i can drag some data fields over there profit so you can see the profit maybe i don't want to give a specific color to each and every location over there so i just remove that from the legend so that i can get a single so so what i mean to say that now the postal code is working for uh, the map so i have just expanded my map interestingly this has been able to detect more locations with respect to tableau if you can see but i'm not going to drill down more into that but the main thing was to turn postal code into a geographical field and i am able to do that with uh, power bi after just making it as don summarize turning into a dimension so i hope this difference has made some sense and uh, you were able to follow that how tableau talks about dimensions and measures whereas power bi always recommend star schema where you have fact and dimension more or less ultimately it's the same concept when you say dimension tables and, and dimension and measure over there in tableau within a table we say dimension and measure we are dividing it over there and and in power bi we say that hey have a separate table for uh, dimension have a separate table for fact so let us finish it now itself and i hope uh, to see you again. till then this is bye bye from ritesh keep on dancing with data kyunki data hi data hai kya tumko sab kuch aata hai